Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. I was at the movies yesterday and we passed by a Goodwill so you already know I bought some things. I always buy things when I'm at Goodwill. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Lately the prices at at least my Goodwill have been kind of ridiculous and I actually follow a Facebook group on Goodwill that is saying the same thing so Goodwill needs to calm down with their prices because I'm seeing things that are sold at like Dollar Tree being sold at Goodwill for like three dollars and it's like used. So, I don't know what's up with Google right now, but I'm excited to show you guys what I found. I didn't find many American Girl doll things, but I'm still going to show you all what I did find. So, one of the first things that I saw in a bin of some clothes was this really cute little, like, overalls or jumpsuit, and it was only 99 cents, and this is actually from our generation, and I think that this is an old outfit because the tag on here um, looks very different than the tags that are sold on some our generation clothes now. It's in like a pink font and I've personally never seen that before but if you look closely it's like still on there like brand new. Like I, look, let me rip it off actually. Oh, see? Ooh, I probably shouldn't have done that, I should have used scissors but who am I kidding, I never do. See, so it comes off. So here is the this is so freaking cute. I already know how I'm going to put this on. This is adorable. You can have your dolls wear it just like this. I thought this was super fun and spring. And then this is the white shirt that was underneath. And it has like a little, uh, what is this, a turtleneck. And then it has some blue lining on top. And it's also Velcroed in the back. Just like the overalls. So, I am going to put this on my number 66 here. I have her in some pajamas here. These are Julie's pajamas. And I don't want to keep her in pajamas. I think she needs a new outfit. So, but instead of using this, I don't really want the blue lining to show. Or actually, I don't know. Maybe I do. But I'm going to put this on her with either this turtleneck or I have a plain white turtleneck. I don't know yet which one I want more, but I'll come back to you guys. You guys, I just put her in this outfit. She looks so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I kept the same white long sleeve that it originally came with. So I didn't use my own white turtleneck. Just because you can't even see the blue because her little necklace is covering it. She looks freaking adorable. I am like, I, I swear, if you ever like are not bonding with your doll, put on a new outfit with them. And then like, it just... I don't know how to explain it. You just feel like a stronger connection with them because you're constantly staring at like how cute they are. Not that I wasn't bonding with her, but I tend to not bond with them for whatever reason when I have them in PJs. I don't know if that's just me. But when I have them in like an actual cute outfit, I'm like more in love with them, you know? And I put her in Leah's little sandals. I thought that looked cute with this outfit because it like is really summer vibe. So I'm so happy with her and yeah, it fit perfectly. Here's the back so you can see it did Velcro nicely on her. And sorry, her hair is a little frizzy, but yeah, I am so happy with this purchase. And this was only $1, so this was really awesome, and she looks super cute. So, the next thing that I found came in a Ziploc bag, but it ripped open, so I just kind of have it thrown around in here. I found this. Um, this is a My Life As cleaning set. It came with a bunch of stuff, so this is like the little bucket you can put everything in. And then this is a little, what the heck is this called? The feather duster, I think that's what it's called. And it also came with this vacuum. I think uh, Walmart still sells this. And yeah, so here's the tag. It was $1.99 for everything that I'm going to show you guys. Like I said, it came in a bag. But yeah, this is a little vacuum. It has like little bees and stuff inside. Super cute. And it came with everything here that I'm about to show you guys. So like here's the little dustpan. I thought this would look really cute in my kitchen that I have for my dolls. This is like some soap and this is like maybe a little Febreze bottle. We have a little brush here and then there's another little spray bottle. Super duper cute. So I thought this set was pretty cute and for only $2, like I'm pretty sure it was well worth the price. Um, I don't know if Walmart still sells this set, but it's definitely really cute. I've never even seen this at my Walmart, but I looked it up because I noticed there was a Madame Alexander logo somewhere on here. And so I was like, oh, this has to be from, from my Life Fast brand. And I was right. 
So yeah, it's super cute and I think it's going to look great inside of my doll's kitchen. And I like that everything has a spot like in the bucket and you can have your dolls carry it by like the little handle. It's a bit full, but I'm sure if I put it in there neatly, everything can fit. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. I don't know what this goes to, but it also came with this set. I feel like it has to do something with the vacuum, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, that was really cute. So the next thing that I found is actually not American Girl brand. So hopefully you're still interested. But I found this. I think she's really cute. This is a Na 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 surprise doll is what they're called. And I'm assuming you already know why I bought her because of her pink hair. She's got a lot of hair. And she was also only $1.99, which is such a steal for this doll because retail these go for like $40. I know if you buy them in used condition, they're not really worth anything. But her name is Coco Von Sparkle. I did my research on her. I think I'm saying it right. And I think that's such a cute name. I've never heard of a name like that for a doll. So I just had to buy her because I thought she was super pretty. I also really admire the makeup that is on her. Like her eye makeup, I think is so freaking pretty. She's got like sparkles, like glitter in her eyes. And she did come with her original outfit, which I'm not a huge fan of. But it's a little like tutu. And then this is the top. It's a, it's a crop top. It's kind of hard to tell, but it is a crop top. And I think this outfit is supposed to be like a flamingo from what I was reading. And that's why there's this, this little like black thing there. It's supposed to act as like the beak of a flamingo. Uh, don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And the cool thing about these dolls is that if you find them naked, they technically already have like clothing. I mean, it's like printed on their body, like an underwear and a top. And then she's got like fishnets on her legs. And I just think that she's super pretty. And I have a little story behind these Nana Na Surprise dolls. So this is my only other Nana Na Surprise doll. And her original name is Piper, but I named her Pearl because I thought that it fit her better. And my mom bought me this doll Christmas of 2022. And I had no idea what Nana Na Surprise dolls are. I don't even know how my mom knew about them. I think she said that she just found her like really pretty and she thought I would like her because of her long purple hair. Like I mentioned, I like dolls with long hair like this. And so she bought her for me and she came in like a huge case with a bunch of other accessories. I'll insert a picture so you guys can get kind of like a better idea of what I'm talking about. But I fell in love with this Nana Na Surprise doll. Like, again, the face makeup is so darling. She just looks so aesthetic. I love the colors of her outfit. She comes with a cute little cat hat. And her hair is purple, but if you look closely, it has, like, some blue streaks inside, which make her even prettier. And her hair goes all the way down to the back of her ankles. So she's got super beautiful long hair. And I fell in love with her. But like I said, they're $40. And I my main focus is American Girl. So I don't buy these dolls just because they're not something I want to spend that much money with, but I do like them. And the only ones I was really interested in besides her was the one with the pink hair, which was this one. There's another one with pink hair that I really want too, so hopefully I'll find her at the thrift store sometime. You never know. But so I was super excited to have found her. So that's the little story behind Pearl or Piper. That's her original name. Um... But yeah, I think she's really cute and I really, really like her. So I picked up Coco Von Sparkle. And so the thing about these dolls is it actually says you're not supposed to wash their hair in water because their bodies are made of cloth. And by the way, in case if you're interested, their limbs do move. There's like a wire inside them that makes it accessible to be able to move their body around. Like you can bend her arms certain ways. So, yeah, it says you're not supposed to wash them in water, but I'm going to wash her hair in water because I, okay, her hair is not that bad. It gets frizzy, yes, but her hair is still very, very soft, and I'm going to wash her hair, but I'm not going to, like, dunk her hair in the water, so I think we'll be okay. I'm just really going to wash, like, from here down, and uh, the reason you don't want to get water on their cloth body is because, well, you don't want to ruin... Um, their makeup, you don't want to get wet stains on her head especially or anywhere on her body for that fact. So we're going to be kind of taking a bit of a risk here. I've never done this before. Their hair is not like American Girl hair. It's not synthetic hair. 
So I'm gonna fix her up. Hopefully you guys are still interested because I'm excited to see what she turns out to look like. And I think I can make her hair look really pretty and curly. I'm gonna curl her hair the same way I curl my American Girl's hair. So we'll see if that works. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the haul part of this video. Like I mentioned, I didn't find many American Girl things, but I still wanted to make a video because I like showing you guys the things that I do find and the prices that I got them for. So I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. But now let's get on to cleaning Coco Von Sparkle. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm super nervous. Um, I was going to take her outfit off, but I really don't think I need to just because I'm not planning on getting any of her body wet so I think I'm just gonna dunk her hair in the water and pray for the best honestly I brought conditioner but I feel like her hair doesn't even need it but just because I already brought it I guess I'll add some in her hair this is so hard because like I can't get her body wet. Her hair feels so nice already. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I wonder like if I just wet it, if her hair will kind of get her curl back. But I want it to be like a really tight curl, so I'm just gonna take the time to curl it on my own. And I think it'll be worth it in the end. And also, the water is really cold. I didn't want it to be hot at all, just because, like I said, I don't really know much about their hair. Their hair feels so nice. Okay, so now that her hair is pretty wet, I don't have a specific hairbrush I'm going to use, so I'm going to start off with this comb and see if we get anywhere. Because her hair isn't hard to brush, but I don't really think this will do much for her, but we shall see together. Okay, so this brush really isn't doing much, so I've brought reinforcements. I don't know which one's going to work, but we're going to test them. Okay, so this comb wins. This one's working really nicely. It's brushing through her hair super easily. Her hair feels so great and smells so good already. And I think I'm gonna put it in the water one more time. Ta-da. Fixing doll hair is so much fun. Like, I don't care what doll it is. I wish I could do this for a living. It's so relaxing. And the end result just makes me so happy. Like, that's why I love going to the thrift store. 
and who knows now I gotta keep an eye out for these dolls because there are a couple that I, I like I mean I got my two main favorite which is super crazy oh I just splashed water everywhere um but yeah I think that these dolls are so pretty and like if I find them at their stores you know they're well worth the price because I'm not paying like a big deal amount of money for something that I don't necessarily want to spend too much money on as far as collecting all right I think her hair is good now I think now I'm just playing with it because it feels nice to put in the water the water feels so good and it's also fun giving your dolls like a little spa treatment Put her down again. Oh yeah, and her head does move. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but it does move. And I'm gonna go in with the brush one more time. Okay, so she's got a lot of like these hair sticking out, which tends to happen even with American Girl dolls. So I'm just going to cut off that extra bit of hair. I mean, I don't really think it matters. I don't, it's just going to come off anyways. And it makes their hair just look a lot better and cleaner. See, now she doesn't have so much hairs like randomly poking out there. Oh, that's satisfying. I love the Not Enough Surprise doll hair. Man, it feels so good. So slick. Sleek, sleek. <laughs> I think I meant the word sleek. I forgot. Okay. Alright, guys, so her hair is good now. And um, the water did turn a little bit dirty, so you can see there's always um, a plus with cleaning doll hair, especially when they're thrifted. You never know what's in their hair. And this is the part I'm really nervous about. I'm going to use bobby pins to curl her hair like I do with my American Girdles. But I don't know if that's going to like ruin her hair. Like, I don't want it to get like... I don't want her pink hair to turn brown because of the rust of the bobby pin. So I'm a bit nervous, but let's just um, curl her hair and see what happens. So I don't know how the heck I'm going to curl her hair because I don't have like a doll stand for this size doll. Um, I kind of just had her plopped up on a fake plant here that I had in my room. Um, I'm sorry, this is like totally not a good angle, I don't think, but I hope you guys can still see and yeah like I oh okay <laughs> like I said I'm gonna be curling her hair the way I do with my American Girl doll so I'm taking my pencil and I am wrapping her hair from the very end and rolling that over and kind of just okay I don't think she wants to stand on my plant you guys <laughs> and I'm just rolling so she doesn't have a part in her hair, so that makes it, like, even harder. I don't know. I can't tell if that's going to make it curl. I'm pretty sure it is. It's just, I don't know if I'm curling it the right way. And also, I think I need to take video of Trump's hair. I feel like that was, like, too little here. So 
I did go ahead and mute this part just because I had friends playing in the background. Usually when I'm curling my doll's hair, I like having a show on in the background. If it's not friends, it's like Grey's Anatomy or I'm watching The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I'm watching iCarly. A lot of the shows that I like to watch are like very 2000s and are shows that I grew up watching as a kid. But right now, my favorite show is Friends. I have rewatched it a lot of times and I mentioned it in one of my other videos of fixing up an American Girl doll so i'm sorry i muted this but i hope it's still relaxing for you guys to see how i am curling my new nana -na -na surprise dolls hair because this part was a lot of fun and it was very relaxing for me too um i okay <laughs> i finished curling her hair but it looks really, really bad. I don't know if this was a fail because it all depends on how it turns out. Like, like okay, by looking at it, you can tell like curls are definitely going to come out. It's just very messy. Her hair is like so soft that it makes it hard to curl because it just keeps falling out of the bobby pin. That's why I had to go off camera because I was like trying to figure out a better way to hold her. I literally ended up holding her like in between my legs and curling her hair that way so i'm sorry i didn't show like the entire process but i am going to come back to you guys her hair is still very wet so i wanted to like take it out in the nighttime it's like 12 yeah it's almost one so i was gonna wait and take it out at night if it's dry then i will but if not i'll take it out tomorrow morning and then i'll show you guys what she looks like but honestly i'm excited like she looks so cute already I'm really excited to see all the pink curls come out and I didn't get her body wet at all so yay oh that's what I was most worried about so yes I'm so excited all right so I will come back to you guys maybe tonight maybe tomorrow we'll see bye for now hey you guys it is actually still the same day I just got home from downtown Houston I am so freaking tired it is currently 12:51. But I really am honestly just impatient and the whole day I was out with my friends, I was thinking of what this girl's hair was going to look like. Yes, I might be crazy for thinking of that. I wasn't thinking of that the entire time, but I was excited to see what her hair looked like. And her hair feels dry, so I'm like, why not just take it out right now? Sorry if I kind of look a mess. Like I said, I'm really tired. I had a great day though. I had a very fun day with all my friends in downtown. So I'm gonna take out one and then I'll kind of switch the angle so you guys can see better. But I'm super happy and excited. So I'm gonna just do this first one here. Hopefully it's focusing. Oof. I don't know if this is even gonna curl. Okay, so there's a curl, but I don't think I curled it the right way. I guess if I twist it though, it'll fix the curl. Like if I just kind of... I mean, that looks better, right? I'm going to switch the angle so you guys can see this better. Guys, I'm so sorry. I said I was going to show you guys how to me taking off her curls off camera. And my camera literally died. So I took them off. I took her curls off camera. But I'm excited to show y'all what she looks like. Let me know what you think. I don't know how I feel about it. Her curls are kind of messy. Like I said, this was my first time ever curling uh, Na 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 Surprise doll hair. So I think for a first time it came out really good. Um, it's very messy. But she looks very cute. I do want to photograph her because I love all the pretty pinkness. And, and yeah, her name is Coco Von Sparkle. She does have like a bald spot, which I don't really know how to fix that because these dolls don't have a hair lining. So yeah, I think she looks very good though. I really like her and I hope you guys think so too. And like I said, I know she's not like an American Girl doll, 
but I want to, you know, show you guys other items and dolls that I like to collect as well, so I thought you all would still be interested in watching. So, I think that is it for today's video. We are like three people away from 800 supporters, and I just wanted to tell you guys thank you so, so much. From the bottom of my heart, I seriously don't know how we've gotten here. What well, feels like very quickly, um, it's kind of crazy to think like of 800 people watching my videos. Like, that's a lot of freaking people. Like, imagine that many people, like, in your room. Like, that's a lot of people. So, I just wanted to say thank you because it feels insane that that many people like watching me and have been just so kind on my channel. So, thank you all so much and I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Like I said, even though it wasn't much of American Girl, I hope you guys still enjoyed watching me talk about this pretty girl here. And maybe there will be more Nana Not Surprised doll videos to come. Who knows? So, yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And I will catch you guys very soon. Bye, everyone.